Good morning, folks. It's 5.05 .05 in the morning, and right now I'm running some Mumax code to do micromagnetism on the GPU. The GPU is currently running right now, as you can see, and there it is. The, there's the details of what the GPU is and what the temperature is running at right now, and I actually have some scripts that I wrote for this thin film. It's a permaloy simulation right now. I'm simulating a permaloy. And I actually generated a hysteresis loop for, for this example. I have a couple of other examples, like this one. I have another one. It's called, well, I, I call it example one. Example two is here, and example three Actually, this is example three. I have another one. It's example two. But regardless, you get a hysteresis plot from this micromagnetic model. You import a Excel file that is based off of some TXT table that is generated from Mumax. Mumax is, like I said, it's running at the moment in the browser. And the cell size I'm doing right now is about one nanometer by one nanometer by one nanometer. And it's a thin film that's about three nanometers thick, 300 nanometers by 100 nanometers, the, as, far the, as far as the length and width. So this is sort of the 2D visualization. We can also generate a 3D model of this as well by doing some post-processing or uh, putting it into Ubermag, which is another way of visualizing this with Python. Anyways, the script, as I wrote, is actually here. It's borrowed from some papers, and you can also look at some of my other examples. But uh, you can see I actually have some homework that I'm doing, some PhD homework <laughs> using Mumax. But what you would do is you, go, you would go to the command prompt or PowerShell and you would type in this command directory and then go to the directory of where the files located of the script. So in this case, the script is a TXT file extension and then it's a custom name. And after, after you write mumax and a space with this hyphen i, which is the, for the interface, it will actually bring up the Mumax interface here, the, the GUI on the browser. So once you get to that point, then you can visualize and just sort of monitor how the simulation is going. And then the, you get a table in the end. I'll show you what the table looks like. So we'll, we'll grab a, an example here. So I'll look at example one in example one there's a table here that that generates from emax so table looks like this when i click on that and i go over here you will see a table that looks like this and the table allows you to look at <laughs> this txt version of all the data outputs for the magnetization in the x direction for example and then there's a magnetization or well a magnetic field being applied in whatever direction, some some other tables, depending on how it's programmed, it, it might give you some direction of the magnetic field. It could be X, Y, or Z direction. In this case, the applied field is just in general. And then you can read the magnetization results in this table. So all you do is copy this entire table, and then you would paste it into an Excel file. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's something you would do. And once you place that into the Excel file, you would go over here and it would look at, it would look something like this. You just paste it into the Excel file and you end up with uh, all the data points ready to go. And in this case, I want to only focus on the applied field. So I, I make sure that there are no spaces in that label. And then I want to focus on the magnetization in the X direction. So I make sure there are no spaces for that label, the data column. So MX and the applied field. 
That's the only thing I'm concerned about in making this hysteresis. So in that case, it will take all the data points in this column and all the data points in this column. So once I have that available, I would now, you know, I will have it saved as an Excel file, and then I will come back over here and I can open a Colab notebook or other maybe in Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook and then you could start to copy some of the code here. You can borrow some of my code here. It's, it's available. GitHub OJB-Quantum or OJB-Quantum-Notebooks or slash notebooks and then it'll take you to the hysteresis. You look for the one that says hysteresis. Let me do it again. OJB hyphen quantum is my picture and then repositories and then notebooks there's a repository called notebooks and then if you keep scrolling down here you'll see one that says hysteresis loop example one and example two you can click on either one of these to see what the code looks like and if you want to make a copy of this into your own repository or something like that you can come here and uh, open it in Colab, and then you can start to run the code, run, and then start importing data. The data, you would upload it here, you know, in case you're new to Colab, but then you would upload the Excel file here, so that if you, if you know where the file is located, you upload it here, and then you copy the path to the file. So let me, let me try that really quick. So let's say this was our data file that we just that we just created, and then what we do is go to this three dot icon, and it's a copy path. See it again? Let me do it again. Three dot icon, copy path, and then I would go here to this section that says path to the Excel file where I wrote, and then within this parentheses, that's where you would paste. Uh, let's see here. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to do Control V, and that's where the data would be located. And then once you go down the line and, and play each of these cells, run each of these cells, you should be able to see a sort of sneak peek of the table, showing that it's, it acknowledges the table. And then from there, you can run this code here to create the, hist the hysteresis loop. And boom! That's that's all it takes. <laughs> As of now, I think my simulation is done running, so I'm going to go ahead and do another hysteresis loop for my, my PhD homework. <laughs> so, once again, thanks for tuning in. GPU is now cool down, and, well, take care out there. Cheerio. Adolio. <laughs>